Hi guys, it's Erica and I am so excited because I am finally filming my daughter's birthday spread and I am using this gorgeous birthday kit from Simply Watercolor Co. This is the first time I will ever have used foil stickers in my planner. Like, I am so excited. By the way, if you guys saw my last haul and I talked about foiling and the detail of foiling and how when you use a laminator, sometimes the foil will spread because it melts too much. Um, I do want to mention that the happy birthday um, is not as fine of detail as I thought it would be. And I think that's partly because of the whole laminating thing. But either way, the kit is gorgeous. The foil is super smooth. There is not a wrinkle or any messes or missing pieces or anything. Like the foiling itself is just stunning. Like it's very well done. So no complaints here. I just do want to mention that you can tell this was done with a laminator versus a foiling machine. But anyway, that being said, let's go ahead and get started. I am using my hourly planner to determine like what goes on what day. This was a kit from um, Raspberry Designs with a mix of Little Miss Papery and Aria's Daydream stickers because this was like the spring mystery box and they included some samplers so I mixed a bunch of the samplers in with the actual kit itself and I think this spread was gorgeous for my daughter's birthday. I thought it was just really really pretty and I just really love the colors. So anyway, I'm going to use that as a reference. So let's go ahead and get started. This is the first time I've ever used a Simply Watercolor Co. kit. So I don't know if I'm going to have enough stickers to do what I normally do. I will probably do a white space spread because I've never used her stickers before. So I don't know exactly like what I have and what I don't have. So we'll just assume it's going to be a white space spread just so that we don't like set ourselves up to fail if we're like oh I'm gonna do a no white space and then not have enough stickers like that'd be super sad so we're just gonna not do that we're not gonna set ourselves up also this is on glossy and I haven't used glossy sticker paper in a really long time so it's like almost strange touching it as if that makes any sense whatsoever she also has these really cute scallops and I think I might put them up top or I'm not sure, I was thinking about putting them under on here, like actually laying in the sticker so that there's a scallop on the bottom, but I may or may not use them, not sure yet. For now, we're gonna hold on to that. And while we're here, I'm gonna go ahead and use the date covers so that we can just start up top and put this simple stuff down. So anyway, how is everybody doing, if you guys can hear my cutting machines just stopped. I'm gonna take a break from cutting. I've been cutting like crazy all day. My daughter is in daycare today. She only goes to daycare two days a week. Um, mostly for like socialization purposes and um, that's really, really it. And just, you know, some exposure to different things, different toys, different people other than what she gets at home. Cause when we're at home, she does do a lot of, we do a lot of activities. We read to her a lot. Um, we're working out with her on her walking. She's not walking yet. She just turned 13 months today. Today is the 6th of July. Not sure when this video is actually gonna go up. So I'm like right at a month behind on planning. So I'm trying to catch up while we are here. So that being said, um, this is my opportunity to work on stickers and uh, just plan, you know? So let's do the to-dos at the top. I need a to-do for every day except for Saturday. That day is my daughter's birthday. So actually, I kind of want to do the checklists on the bottom. I haven't done checklists on the bottom in a really long time. So we're going to do the checklists down here this week. going to spice it up since this is my first time using this her stickers. figure we're going to just be really creative this week. I don't know if this is considered creative, but we're doing it.
Okay, so I've done that and I think I'm gonna do the deco up top and then little things and everything in the middle. And the reason why I wanna do the deco up top is because there's foil in the washi and then there's foil in some of the deco. So I wanna put the foil up top, if that makes. So then you have foil up top and foil in the bottom. So yeah. Okay, moving right along, I'm gonna put the headers then up top to be the today stickers. I like that these headers have a pattern in them, in the pink and the blue, much like the um, actual checklist boxes. I think that's really pretty. And it's faint enough that it's not overly distracting from the header, so you can still read the text without it like overwhelming the sticker, which is really cool. I'm so excited about this. I haven't used another person's kit in my rewind spreads in a while because I've had so many kits of my own to use because also because I keep this planner, I like to use my own stickers in here so that I can look back at my own designs, which is also the reason why if I redid a kit from last year, like Mojito Madness and Mermaid Dreams, um, those kits are not in here because they've already been used in a previous year, even though they're a different format. But essentially, I don't want to have them duplicated throughout planners, unless it's like something I super love, like the character kits, like Harry Potter. I could have Harry Potter in my planner like 12 times, and I'm okay with that. So, yeah, I'm loving this. I'm super excited about this. Okay. You know, she included these tiny little date dots, but I kind of don't want to cover up the balloons. So I'm not going to use the numbers, even though they're super tiny and I could probably like stick them in. I'm just going to skip them and just leave them without the numbers because I really like how the numbers look without it. Okay, so then let's pick out the deco. So her actual birthday was Tuesday. So I'm going to use the foiled sticker that says happy birthday on a Tuesday. And then Saturday was the day that we celebrated her birthday party. So I'm gonna use this happy birthday sticker. Oh my gosh. I said we didn't do anything that required a checklist on Saturday. I wasn't gonna put a checklist down, but I forgot and I already put a checklist down. I'm a little afraid to change that. <gasps> Am I gonna rip the paper? Is it worth it? I don't know. Maybe I can just leave it and then just put stickers on top of it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm having like anxiety about this because I'm really not gonna use this checklist. Let's see. I will attempt to pull it up. The problem is it's glossy and if I don't end up pulling it up and I decide to put it back down. If a tiny little piece came up holy crap guys that was that was scare bear stare okay I'm gonna use okay there is actually an extra box here so I could still use another full box here I'm gonna use this one this really basic one because I will probably cover it with other stickers like half boxes and stuff. I just didn't want the checklist there because I'm really not gonna use a checklist. Okay, so that being said, I feel, whew, feel better, feeling better. Okay, I'm gonna use, um, I really wanna do foil. So we're gonna use foil on Sunday. And then there's foil here, maybe foil here. Hmm. What do I want to use in the top corner? That's probably the first thing I should think of. I can put this in the bottom over here. So I will use the girl, because it is my daughter's birthday week that we're celebrating. So we'll use this as the sticker for up there. Then we'll use the balloons for, I have two foil stickers. So let's go ahead and, oh, this has blue on it and that's blue. So crap. Now I've got 
too many because then I kind of wanted, we're going to put this foil sticker here. And then, I guess we're going to have foil next to foil, but I feel like, ugh, guys, I'm struggle bussing here. I should have thought this out in advance. So I, hmm, okay, I guess this is what we're doing. I, because I use the extra box over here, I can really only have one box over here. I'm going to do something that's probably a bad idea, but I'm going to try to pick this up like I did the other one. And hopefully we don't mess this up. I really should have probably picked out where I wanted the boxes in advance, but that didn't happen. So I guess we'll put this here because I really don't want foil next to foil if I can avoid it. So, because, yeah, so I'm going to do... That's still, yeah, we're gonna put the foil over here. So then at least we've got alternating foil. Um, and this says I'm turning, which this would have been great on her actual birthday, but I wanted the happy birthday on her happy birthday. So I'll put it on, ooh, no, cause it's pink, but that's pink. Okay, we're doing it. I'm not picking up any more boxes. We're just gonna put it down. It is what it is. We will survive. It will be fine. We are okay. <laughs> are we okay? I think we're okay. Okay. So now that that's settled and we're leaving it, we're not changing anything else, I am going to go ahead and put down the little things headers here, even though I may or may not use a ton of little things for this week, but we're just going to go ahead and use them. And move forward. <laughs> Struggles! You know, I feel like there's just not enough time to sit here and pre-plan like where I want to place stickers because a lot of times when I film, it's I don't have a ton of time to sit here and like mess around. So like I try to like wing it, but as you guys can see, I winged it last week and that was a hot mess, but it worked out. <laughs> uh, but I mean, I think that's part of the whole process of planning is, you know, things don't always go exactly as planned. Okay, I feel much better now. The anxiety level has diminished significantly. And I'm feeling better. Okay, so there are eight half boxes. There's a bunch of little things. So let's go day by day and figure out what we can use little things for. So on Monday, we picked up our dog from the kennel because we had just gotten back from Miami. So I'm gonna use a heart sticker for that. And then apparently I didn't write down what we had for dinner, so I'm not gonna use a food sticker. But we did watch a movie and I did do iron on shirts. So I made Gabby's iron on onesie. So I'm gonna use this half box to mark that. Actually, we watched Pirates of the Caribbean that day too. So let's see, how am I gonna stack it? I'll do, you know what, let's use a small box to mark the onesie. And then, and then we'll stick this. Will this fit in between? Yep, it'll fit. That worked out. We watched the Pirates of the Caribbean, um, Dead Men Tell No Dales or whatever it's called. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Okay, then Tuesday was my daughter's actual birthday, so I'm not gonna write that down. It just says happy birthday. That's more than enough for me, I think. Um, that day I did my daughter's giveaway, so I'm gonna use this little um, like appointment box to mark that. And then um, 
I went to Walmart and I made her smash cake. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this guy to mark her smash cake. And then a little thing to mark shopping. Let's see, we'll use this guy for Walmart. And then, whew, hmm, this is kind of big. I don't want to cut off the bottom, but I also don't want to cover up the other stickers. So we're doing it, we're cutting off the bottom. I'd rather do that and still have the cake. And then, yeah, I'm okay with that. That's actually super ridiculously cute. I'm excited. We're leaving it. Okay, I did get some happy mail that day, but there's not space to mark that, so I'm not going to. Okay, then on Wednesday, there's a bunch of stuff on the to-dos, but I'm not listing that because I can write that separate. So I'm just focusing on little things and areas here. So on Wednesday, I made chicken carbonara, which was the first time I'd ever made chicken carbonara, and I'm gonna put this down here. And then, um, I did go to the post office that day, so I will use this little moving box or shipping box to mark the post office. Then this is the first time my daughter had Cheerios with milk, so I'm gonna use a little heart symbol. She doesn't like whole milk at all. She still doesn't. It's a month later and she still doesn't. So we try to give it to her in other things like mashed potatoes, mac and cheese, um, with her cereal trying to get her interested, but she's just not. And then we actually had lunch with our friends. We went and had sushi, so I'm gonna put a big sticker for that. Sushi with Dave and Greg. Okay, awesome. Then on Thursday, let's see, what big things happened? My daughter had her 12 month appointment that day. Let's see, oh, I should have used the appointment sticker to mark her appointment. Well, that's smart, Erica. We'll use this little, actually, let's use a quarter box. This will be her 12 month checkup. And then is there a doctor's icon here? Let's see. I don't see one, which is fine. I mean, not everybody goes to the doctor every week, so that'd be kind of overkill. Uh, but then, let's see, we, I did go to Publix that day, and let's see, is there a grocery cart? There is a grocery cart in that color! How awesome! And then we also had some, um, I made barbecue, shredded barbecue chicken sandwiches out of rotisserie chicken. That makes life so much easier to use, like, pre-made chicken and not have to worry about it yourself. So Publix, rotisserie chicken, and Gabby had um, eight peaches with some cheese. It was like the first time she'd ever had like peaches and cheese. So I'm gonna use a little disappointment box for it to mark like a food milestone. That's what I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna use this little food sticker too. And it happens to be in that color. Woohoo, okay. Friday was a crazy day. This was the day that I like prepped and prepped and prepped a ton of stuff for Gabby's birthday. Um, my mother-in-law arrived that day. I also had to go shopping that day. So I'm gonna put the half box to mark the shopping that I had to do that day. I went to BJ's and Walmart to get any last minute stuff for the party. And then my mother-in-law came that day. So I'm gonna use this half box to mark my mother's, my mother-in-law's arrival. And then we had Chipotle that day, which I can use um, up here. I'm just gonna cover it because I do wanna mark that we had Chipotle. I do like to write down what we eat. Apparently I failed to write down what we ate like some other parts of this week, but whatever. Okay, and then Saturday was the day of the party. So that's why um, I didn't have a checklist because it's like party day. So I'm gonna use the same box. I know it already matches that one, but that's gonna mark the actual party. 
We did go to Lowe's um, to get a bunch of stuff, Lowe's and Publix to get stuff, last minute stuff for the party. And then um, our family came over to hang out afterwards. So I'm gonna use these two little quarter boxes. So one will be marking them coming and hanging out. And then the other one is marking Pizza Hut because we did have Pizza Hut. And yeah, I could have used a little thing, but psh, whatever. Okay, let's see, is there a house sticker? There is a house sticker. So I'll use this to mark the hanging out. This is the party, so I'm not gonna change that. That'll be fine. And then on Sunday, we went to mass at 4.30. We also did brunch at Cracker Barrel. So I'm gonna use the food sticker, food little thing to mark Cracker Barrel. And then it was a pretty lazy day that day. So I'm actually gonna use the lazy day sticker um, just kind of at the bottom of the checklist. Cause I did do some stuff. So I'll use the first three, but then I'll leave the lazy day for the bottom. And then, uh, also the dog and i were sick we i started feeling crappy and then the dog started vomiting all over the house so i'm gonna mark like sick me and the dog were sick we didn't have the same sickness but i had a cold and the dog was vomiting something fierce oh and then it says i'm turning one so i'm gonna use this i'm turning one <laughs> that's it down there okay so that is it for monday through sunday i think this is doing pretty good uh let's see let's do i don't really have anything to track in the sidebar but i really don't like it being empty so let's just go ahead and put some stickers down so that it's not so like lame <sighs> let's see so we've got two of these tan boxes um this week sounds good. And let's see, are there washi strips? There are washi strips, but they're thick washi strips. So let's just kind of space them. Let's just not, we don't have to do washi strips in between. I just want to make sure I cover up the, you know what? I feel like I'm gonna mess this up. Let's just go ahead and use my T-square to make sure I line this up because Knowing me, it'd be janky janks. That is not straight, even with the T-square. Oh, maybe this sticker's not straight. Nope, I just didn't push it down hard enough. Okay, let's try this again. Maybe if I do it on the other side. That'll have to do. And then I'll align this up against that, assuming that is straight. Oh, that's kind of straight. <gasps> Let's see. It works. It works, I think. Okay. Then I'm going to put important. Actually, I could use this important box because there was a lot of things that had to be done on this week because of my daughter's birthday. I'll we'll shift this down as well. That definitely was not straight. You know what? I'm gonna do the box first and then put the header on top of it. That's better. And actually it looks better than the other boxes. They're just floating, floating, floating. Is there a habit tracker in here? I mean, obviously I'm not gonna fill it out, but might as well use it if you got it, right? I don't see a habit tracker. Oh, there is one, Monday to Sunday. I'll just stick this here, also leaving a little gap. This is like the floating sidebar, which is scaring me because it's not super straight. <laughs> that is okay. And then um, I'm just gonna use this happy birthday washi strip. No, actually let's use this little cute flag and then just complete the bottom and cover up the last of those lines. 
Yay! It's not evenly spaced, but it's better than not having anything. At least that's my thought. Since I'm not going to use this sidebar, I'm going to go ahead and just stick some like deco in here. Like these balloons to make it super cute. I like these like bolder colors versus the gold one on the tan because I think it wouldn't stick out. And then I you know you know what I still have these like scallops and I still kind of want to use them. What would this look like if I put this down here? Or up here? Maybe up here? Let's try to line it up against the top of the page. I just really want to use them because they're so pretty. But it's so skinny that I can't. Okay. Um, that works, kind of. Whatever, it's already done. I'm not picking it up. <laughs> ah. Is that how you, do you, any of you guys have the same struggle or do you just always use the same shops and you just know what they have so you like never struggle boss? Actually, that's kind of cute. I like that. And then there's this extra one <gasps> that we're not going to use because I ripped it. Yay. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put this typewriter here. Cover that up because there is some deco. And then there's a super cute crown. So I'm just going to put deco in places. Uh, yeah. It's happening. And I think that's it because I really don't know where else I would put deco. I guess. We could put it here. Struggles. And here. That works. I will accept it. Okay. There are stickers here. Like, for instance, um, I did Plan With Me on Tuesday. So I'm going to use this Planner Girl sticker, and I will put that there. I did Vacuum on Monday, so I did see there was a Vacuum sticker. So I will use the Vacuum. I'll use it down here. Then let's see, what other stickers do we have? My mother-in-law came in on Friday, so I will use the car sticker for that. And then the dog, actually, I did mention I had to pick up the dog, so we'll use that to cover up the little thing. And then we have flight, camera, cleaning, money bag, clinking, haircut, present, Alarm. I won't be using any of those. Um, I really don't. I did do some design work on Sunday, so I'll use the laptop for Sunday. I did fold clothes on Thursday, so I'll use this little laundry basket. We'll put it down here to fold clothes, and I think that's it as far as the little icons and I think I'm done as far as this kit is concerned I might put down other character stickers and stuff later but until I start putting pen to paper I'm really not gonna know what stickers I'm gonna need until I start doing that so let's go over what we have left over we have um, the checklist flags here this is pretty much done with the exception of the date dots which I probably won't keep them then we've got more checklist flags. Then we still have the washi, two half boxes, bill due to buy some teardrops. Then we've got the two flags. I don't know if those were meant to go in the corner, but they're kind of big. Yeah, they're a little on the big side. I guess I could still put them on and then just cut them down. Yeah, let's just do that so that it matches. Even though it is quite gigantic and it covers up quite a bit. But at least we'll have matching flags. I didn't even notice those flags there. I was looking for them earlier, but I really didn't notice them till now. Okay, and then there's to clean, to go stickers, and then some little things, and a few of the sidebar headers. Oh, and then I forgot the weekend banner. And then there's like these little things that say shopping, food, work, life, hard some like extra stickers there. 
I won't be using those for anything. So for now, I'm gonna use the weekend sticker. Oh no, I don't wanna cover that foil. Or that foil. <sighs> Struggles. But this has foil in it too. You know, we're gonna cover the today and a little bit of the foil and parts of the headers. Yes, because you really wanna use it because it has foil. We're doing it. Okay, it happened. And then that is it for the kit and that is it for the leftover stickers. What did you guys think of this spread other than me like struggling with it? I mean, I didn't really struggle so much in that the kit didn't have what I needed. It was more that I struggled because I didn't know where I wanted certain stickers to go. Um, so it really wasn't that bad, but picking up the stickers made me worry. Like, as you can see, this is like curling because the sticker is curling, so I keep pressing it. I don't know if you guys can tell. But yeah, anyway, that is it. I will do pen to paper at another time when I have time because I didn't even put pen to paper on the previous week yet, so. I'm a little behind as far as that's concerned, but as far as this kit, I think it's gorgeous. The gold is beautiful, and I'm so excited for this to be the birthday week because it's just so dainty and elegant and pretty and foily, and so I think it's perfect for my daughter because she did wear um, a onesie that said one in gold glitter. Let me see if I can find it on my personal Instagram so I can show you. Yes. Can you guys see? No. You cannot see. It's like not bright enough. Let's turn up the brightness. <gasps> Look at my little girl. She turned one and she wore gold. So the gold foil and the pink and the feminine kit I think is so perfect for her. I did make that onesie. Um, that was a onesie that I made myself. This was like before I ironed it on when I had cut it and I was making sure it fit the shirt right. So I'm so excited. It was awesome. I was so happy about her birthday and how it turned out. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the spread and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.